हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एजुटैप टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ साइंस दैट इज द टीथ लेट इज फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द टूथ टीथ आर स्मॉल कैल्सिफाइड हार्ड वाइटेस्ट स्ट्रक्चर्स फाउंड इन अवर माउथ दे आर यूज टू मैकेनिकली ब्रेक डाउन फूड आइटम्स by cutting and crushing them cutting and crushing of food to break it down into pieces is necessary for the easy digestion and absorption of food inside our body calcified means that they are made up of calcium let us see what are the various parts of teeth a teeth has an upper part called the crown a middle part called the neck and the lowermost part of the teeth is called the root of the teeth let's discuss a bit about the crown it is the part of the teeth found above the gum its outermost covering is called enamel and enamel is the hardest material in the body the neck part neck is that part of the teeth found between the crown and the root inside the neck we can see a cavity which is the pulp cavity the blood vessels and nerve fibers are seen inside the pulp cavity the tissues of the teeth get their nourishment through these blood vessels only so we can understand that this part is very much essential for good health of the teeth let us discuss a bit about the root root is that part of the teeth which is seen inside the gum and the material that fixes teeth to the socket of the jaw bone is called cement what is the teeth made up of the teeth is made up of dentin it is made up of living tissues and it is a hard calcium rich material but it is not as hard as the enamel and it can disintegrate very easily under the effect of acids the figure on your screen shows the cross section of a teeth you can see well labeled parts that we have discussed till now of the teeth being shown in this diagram now i know that you must be excited to know about the different types of a teeth the different types of the teeth are incisors canines premolars and molars to remember the four terms you can use the phrase i can eat pizza and maggi here i c p and m are the initials of incisors canines premolars and molars and this phrase will all will also let you understand and retain the order in which these four kind of teeth appear in the jaw bone the figure on your screen shows the arrangement of different kinds of teeth inside the mouth the first one are the incisors next to the incisors are found the canines then the premolars and the last to appear in the jaw bone are the molars right now let's see how the canines are arranged canines are two in each jaw so they are a total of four inside the mouth they have a pointed crown have a single root they help us in holding and tearing the food the positioning of the canines is shown here in the figure so they are the teeth which are placed next to the incisors talking a bit about the premolars premolars are four in each jaw so they are a total of eight inside the mouth they have two ridges in their crown they may have one or two roots they help us in chewing and grinding the food the arrangement of the premolars 
is shown here in the figure. They are the tooth found next to the canines inside the jaw. Now let's see a bit about the molars. Molars are six in each jaw. So we have a total of 12 molars in our mouth. They may have two or three ridges in their crown. They may have two or three roots. They help us in chewing and grinding the food. The arrangement of the molars can be seen here in the figure. We can find the molars right after the premolars inside our mouth. Now as you are well aware that teeth are a very important part of our body. So it is imperative that we take good care of them. Different ways in which we can take good care of our teeth are Number one, we should practice oral hygiene. Oral hygiene is the practice of keeping the mouth clean. This helps us to prevent various diseases and disorders related to teeth. We should brush our teeth twice a day. We should regularly go to a dentist to get our dental checkup done so that we can prevent any diseases from occurring. We should massage our gums regularly. Massaging of the gums help improve the blood circulation to the teeth and help them keep healthy. Well, I hope this presentation would have cleared any doubts that you might have regarding the topic of teeth. For more such informative videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.